I am gonna need a bunch of sand if I'm making bottles for potions. I'm also gonna have to remember how to build a kiln. Okay, so if I'm gonna flood... There, there it is. That's how I'm gonna flood the dungeon. I guess I don't even need to flood the dungeon. Like, that's an important distinction that needs to be made right here, right now. Uh, flooding the dungeon is... Not necessary, I just need to be... Hello. Uh, I'll take those. No, but I don't even need to flood the dungeon, I just need to be inside the dungeon fishing. I don't have a fishing rod. Now I have the Duke Fishman Trophy, though, so I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, those look tacky. And the way I see it, the quicker I open these, um, all the dungeon chests, that means less time I'm gonna have to spend down here in hard mode. Because a whole bunch of crazy enemies start showing up. You got guys with freaking ops. Like, that's not even an exaggeration. It's just straight up an op. Also, while I'm down here, I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna kind of declaw this dungeon a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a ton. I just want to... Kind of make it safer to navigate major areas. Oh, yeah, this is the guy who sells you the... What is it? Dungeon Defenders 2? I got Dungeon Defenders and Desktop Dungeons confused. Oh, one of them's a game with Grant Kirkhope's music and Danny Baranowski doing backup soundtrack. Which is a combination that slaps a little more than I thought it would. Um... No, but the other game is, uh... You know, just some, like, weird... I think it's a free-to-like-start or a free-to-play game. But it's just- it's just a tower defense. Like, nothing- nothing wild. That we haven't seen before. Not a big deal, is the word I'm gonna- is the word I'm looking for. Which is probably making, um, all fan of- uh, Dungeon Defenders upset. Luckily, when they write me an angry letter, they will be able to speak on behalf of the entire Dungeon Defenders fan base. So, you know. No need for hyperbole there. Now, here comes a zany idea. What if I just dig straight down in the dungeon? That was, um, hmm, something. Not particularly adventurous. It didn't really save me any time or any energy. But now I've just got more room to, you know, do this. Oh, hello, hold the phone. Barrier platform? Martian workbench? Bunch of developer items. Whoa, he was a new one. He was like drawing a bow. I'm gonna put a stop to him though. That guy didn't get a chance. Alright, let's kinda clean up some of the clutter. You know, it's ironic. You spend, like, your whole first trip through the dungeon getting rid of all the water candles because it's making it hard to do anything. But then you get a little more equipment, and now you're missing the water candles because you could grind for things easier. Every time I think I've explored, like, the full extent of the dungeon, I haven't. So... You know, I, I've got to give Terraria that. Like, this game's at a dizzying sense of scale. And for being a game that's like, I think, like, 1,200 megs, nothing, nothing major. 
This isn't a very large game. But for what it's worth, there is so much content. I think it's like $10, $15? And it's regularly on sale for like dirt cheap. Like this is... I, I'm tempted to call Terraria the best deal in gaming. Like even more so than Minecraft. And that's not to diss Minecraft. I, I need to make that part clear. Minecraft's a phenomenal game. Just, it's not a game with, like, boatloads and boatloads of, like, secrets and content and things to discover. Um... A Minecraft world is kind is kind of a Minecraft world, which is kind of a Minecraft world. They've all, I mean, you'll see some like unique terrain gen stuff, and there's some stuff that I haven't seen in Minecraft, like the igloo. But I think like my big point kind of boils down to you you see a Minecraft map, and you kind of get a feel for all there is. There's a small handful of um, set pieces. No, nothing, you know, major. You got some set pieces and such. But it's... And, and for what it's worth, they're cool set pieces. Except for the, the windmill. Or the, the guard tower or whatever it is that the, the pillagers have. Not a fan of that one just because it endlessly respawns enemies. Um, but outside of that, you've got a lot of, like, like, the mine shaft is cool, the villages are cool, um, woodland mansions are freaking sweet, but combat in Minecraft, oh, I have a bunch of keys, um, but combat in Minecraft is kind of tedious, I, I was hopeful. I'll take the hat. Um, but Minecraft combat is still really tedious. Um, and a lot of that is just the fact that it all kind of boils down now to potions. And it's just it's just a, not a very fun system. Whereas Terraria's got just the craziest, like, stupid fast pace. There is so much to do and so much to see. There's literal thousands of weapons. And I mean, I get it all kind of funnels down, like, at the end. Like, there is, like, one best, um, melee weapon. There is one best, um, ranged weapon, etc. But... Up until that point... You have a crazy number of options. And there's a little something for everybody. There's even like playstyles that really probably shouldn't be playstyles. Do you want to play Terraria just building like traps and getting people stuck in them? You can do that. Didn't mean to do that. Honey candle pixie dust. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, I want that. It's only two. What did I just pick up? A wooden shelf? No, I've had the wooden shelf. I, I should get rid of the wooden shelf. But if you want to play Terraria just like building traps, you can do that. If you want to play Terraria where you just, like, chug potions and beat people to death with your bare hands, you can sort of, kind of, not particularly, but yet still sort of do that. It, it, to an obtuse degree.
You want to play a low uh, damage build that gets most of its um, attacks in through um, um, having a high dodge chance and evasion. Go right ahead. Want to kind of just brute force your way through the whole game? That is also a valid way to play Terraria. And I think a lot of people are probably going to get on me about, uh... Because I, I, make, I make the great fuss about um, GTA V. How it's kind of a game that's trying to do everything at once so it can't be one thing well. Terraria did the building and the mining part astoundingly well, especially given the fact that, you know, it is just a sprite-based game. It kind of took the formulas that made Minecraft so engaging and kind of pared them down and flattened them out in a very satisfying manner. And the end result is you have a game that is loads of fun. Um, all of its design is kind of done astoundingly well. But um, Terraria does one thing, um, or it did one thing very well, and then it built on top of that is I think the big difference. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna have to fill these up with- I'm gonna have to fill a bunch of them up with water, it looks like. So I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna fill those up with water later. Actually, I should probably do that right now, there's- there's water nearby. In the nature bin, we'll go to the pixie dust, because that can get crafted into greater healing potions with crystals. I don't have any crystals, but we'll- we'll- we'll, we'll get there. Okay. All oh, right, and I have this halberd I don't need. I'll sell the chains too. And those. Okay, yeah, look at that. I can build so many potion types. Um, so let's start here. Okay, so regeneration potion would be nice. I'll build like three of those. Actually, hold on. That just takes regular mushrooms and... Yeah, okay, I'll build ten. Visibility, shine, night owl, battle, potion, builder, danger sense, mining, flipper, heart reach. Got seven. Nice. And then those can now go into potions. Nice. Look at that. Got a bunch of everything. Top shelf, okay. Uh, the one last thing I wanna do is I'm going to clear out some space here to build the expansion to my house. And that's gonna involve having to clean up um, this thing. Cool. Now I can just do this. Awesome, I got room. All right, so what am I building this out of? I, uh, I mean, I kind of wanted to do dungeon brick. I got so much dungeon brick. Well, no, I, I'm afraid that might just turn that into a dungeon. <laughs> Although dungeons have to be underground. Okay. Um. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna make a hundred and then I can just scale down from there. I'll probably just start this just so everybody kind of has an idea as to what I'm making. I've got bone doors. I don't really want bone doors. Furniture two. 
I'm gonna use those at the very least. Okay. So we're just gonna build some fast uh, doors. It's not gonna be a big long tube. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that one right now. Um, I'm actually gonna like start here and then ultimately I want this room like this tall. Okay, and then I'm gonna a real fast retroactively just just elevate this a little more. See, I've actually never done any proper building in Terraria up until this moment, so there we go. Now that could be a little smoother actually. Oh yeah, look at that. That is awesome. And then can we smooth out this ceiling? That that's awesome. Wow. Um I am I know for a fact I'm gonna need more stone brick. I didn't build the thing I wanted to build. I can build it real fast. I wanted a vestibule. There we go. Maybe it's just a really lousy antechamber. You'll never know. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want... Oh, there's the kiln. I don't actually need the kiln now. Oh, I thought these bars would, like, like link up. Hmm. Hammer doesn't help. Kind of just scatter them around then. Yeah, four will work. Those can go back into furniture two. That can go in furniture two. Where did I place my sawmill? It's up here. Can I access both? It would appear I can. That was all my wood. I thought I had more than that. Oh well. And now we've got like this like... Like lodge. This place is massive and I'll be able to fit a bunch of really cool stuff in here. But like for instance, now I can stick, you know, like... This paint, this wacky painting on the wall. I can stick a bookcase over here. I can stick a bookcase over here. Bam, bam. And we will, we'll continue to grow the, uh, the Lodge of Dreams. Uh, the next time we come back to the Terraria Randomizer, we we got a decent recording session out of that. Almost two hours. Wow, I'm set for, I'm set for a while. Crazy, I didn't know I was recording for two hours. It didn't feel like two hours. Uh, just one more for the road though. Quick stack in, into nearby chests. I'll just, I'll stick the chain in like, screw it, I'll stick it in nature, why not? Silk is already there. That can go back, that can go back, that can go into trash, that can go into trash. Mud can trash, mushroom platform can be trash. There there we go. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to making that the coolest place it can be. <laughs>